Hello everybody and welcome. So glad to have you guys here today on our channel. Today we're going to be doing a winter sort of rustic swag design. Super excited about this one. Um, just a few products. Um, the main focus is this beautiful 32 inch Savannah pine swag. It is a nice full swag so it is doing a lot of the work for us. Um, but we are going to be going in with some additional greeneries. Let me show you what we're going to be using for this design. Okay, so I brought in a couple of our long needle pine sprays. We're going to be using two of those. We've got our frosted pine sprays with a little pine cone. We have our another pine cone spray. This is the new one that we got in. I love that one. And then we're going to be going in with some of these beautiful frosted red berries. And then um, I'm going to be tying in a couple of these grapevine bells. And then we're going to be using our solid red velvet fair silk ribbon. Okay, so those are the supplies for this tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and fix the camera view down so that you guys can see what I'm doing. This is a swag design. It will get large. I will do my best to keep you guys in view, but um, there may be some of the swag that you don't see because so I want to focus in on the parts that we're actually working on. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay, so I'm just going to fluff up my swag here. And I love these nice full ones with the different textures of greenery. We don't have to use two swag bases. They're nice and full. So you may pay a little bit more for the swag, um, but it's totally worth it. All right, now I'm going to go in with our long needle pine. I'm trying to decide if I want to just put it in there as one stem or if we're going to cut it up. Give me one second. I'm just going to play with this for a second. Okay, the bottom piece I definitely want to leave together. And I'm going to cut this stem down because we don't need it that long. I think I'm going to have to break out my stem cutter. These Stems are awfully thick. Okay. So let me get it. I want it to give us some more length down here. So I'm just going to tie this in. you guys over so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just kind of intertwining these. I'll get a piece of our pine here. Just tie it. take a zip tie just give that a little bit of extra security make sure it doesn't move around on us go to this top section. I think I'm going to cut these off. That way I can get them placed exactly where I want them. So I'm 
just cutting the cutting them, them into little pieces. Okay, and now I'm just going to take and I'm going to go I want one up at the top. I'll take and twist that in there. And then we're going to hit it with some glue. Okay, and I'm going to take this other piece here and we're going to go sort of to the side there. Okay, so I'm just going to dip it in my glue. We're just going right. Right in there. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing on this other side. Not exactly in the same, it's a little bit further down. Okay, but that's going to give us our pieces one at top one on the right and on the left and then we've got our pieces on the bottom and we're going to be filling in filling in the rest here okay let's go ahead and i think get our bow let's get our bow in so i'm just using this one inch red velvet probably one of my favorites just because it's it's like a staple right so let me see how long i want my tails i want them pretty long Let me tell you how long this is. It is about a 30 inch tail. And I'm just going to pinch. I'm going to go ahead and drop this ribbon on the floor. It's just to pull it well. It's velvet. I don't want to pick it up. I don't want to pick it up and stuff on the floor. Okay, so I'm just pinching. Twisting, pulling it up, pinching, going to twist. Now we're going to go up again about an inch. And I probably made my first leaf a little too small, but that's okay. I think it'll be all right. Twist, going up another, about another inch, twist, pinch, and then I'm going to go up about another inch again. Do one more. So it's starting to get very, very full. And pinch. Okay, let me get a pipe cleaner. Just 
twisting that off. And let me cut this other tail here. Okay, and I need to twist this last loop back here for my tail. Fix my loops a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to get a pick. They're all bundled together, of course. There's one part there. take and just put my pick right up against that and just twist that pipe cleaner and I push it close to that bow okay and now I'm going to hit it with glue Let it sit there for a second. And then we're going to start anchoring that bow with some of our greenery. So let's go in with, let's go in with our flock greenery. This one. I guess they're both flock, but let's use this pine one. Save the little pine cones. Probably add them later. Since this is a little bit more of a rustic design, we'll probably add our pine cones. Okay, so I'm just cutting this into pieces. Just going to start anchoring our bow. So I'm going to go right next to this, right next to our hick. Let's give it another piece. I'm going to go right up underneath again, right next to that pick. last one. Okay, we're going to let that dry before we start really messing with it. Let's cut up another branch. So we're going to get a couple pieces added up here towards the top. in here towards the side. Just pushing that right in there. Okay, we're 
going to start going down the side of our swag here. center with that. Okay, I'm going to go towards the bottom here. longer piece here. I think I'm going to lift up the tail on this piece and go right up underneath there. Sort of blend it a little bit. And I can tell you we're going to need another, another one of these. difference to to worry with it. I just pull our that right off our bar pit. That's not good. And it is glued in there nicely. Which is what we wanted. Okay, let's try this again. So I'm gonna take a little bit of moss and wrap around that just to make sure it's gonna hold, not come off again. Let me set that right there and get my moss. Check it with your fingers. sure it's not going through and it's not. Okay. I think I'm going to add one more piece on either side just to give it some extra security. We're going to have our other greenery and our berries as well, which is going to help give it some support. There we go. Okay, let is, let's go in now with our other greenery. So we're going to be using this a new bush and I'm just going to cut it up. Okay. 
I'm going to go ahead and cut up all of them um, because I know we're going to use them all. So I brought in four. Hopefully that'll be enough. If not, we'll, we'll go get another one. guys back on this view it's going to be hard to start keeping this in the frame but I am just going to start kind of placing these in here I like that one there going right down in that center see how that one is isn't that beautiful? Love that this pine. center with this one. right down the center and I just kind of tuck that one underneath where we had tied we had tied that first pine I just kind of stuck it through there Get our sides. I'm going to try to get this in there without a pick. Just making sure that glue is touching those pines. because we are only on one side. Now I use a lot of product in my design, so um, just space it out more if you don't want to use it as much. Okay, I'm going to go get a couple more of those. Two more. Let's see if we can get away with two. Maybe three. I'm just going in up the top. And then now let's do our sides on this side. Thank you. 
Now a lot of it, it's going to determine when I hang it up where we need to keep our perimeter going. I'm going to go ahead and stick one in the center. I think we're going to need shorter ones on either side here, so I'm just going to put it down. berries. We're going to help cover up our mechanics there with our bow, with our berries. Let's get our bells added. So these were three bells that came like on a little string um, that I got from Hobby Lobby. I just cut them and I think I'm going to try to cut them on a pick. Sit there and dry for a second. Let's get our other one. So I'm just putting these on a pick. If you don't have a pick machine, you can use the wooden picks like we did with our bow. And very carefully. I am ouch. I wasn't very careful. Stuck that right in the glue. Okay, let's get our last one. do its thing. Let's go ahead and cut up some of our berries. So I love this berry spray. Um, we usually sell out of it pretty quickly. It's so pretty. So we're going to take and cut this one up. I'm going to go right next to our bow here. We're going to start trying to cover up that pipe cleaner. there up at the top. Let's go like on this side. Tucking a few here and there. Let's cut up um, one more. 
add a berry down here, up underneath this bell. side here just kind of tuck it in where it looks like we've got like a little hole we might need a little something something I don't want to go crazy I'll tuck one right up in there we'll get our pine cones out of chew get it hung up. Although I think that's a good little spot right there. So I changed my mind. I'll go ahead and just put it right there because we have a little hole. Okay on our ribbon tails I'm just going to um, fold under the ends. I want my tails long and flowy so when we hang it up It will be draping down our swag design. Beautiful. Not going to mess with my loops too much. Just going to leave them. Let's get a couple pine cones added and then I think we are going to be done, y'all. Okay, so. I think we'll add a couple pine cones and let me show you what we're going to do on the pine cones to give them a little bit of a pick. I'm just going to take one of these sticks that I just discarded. We're going to cut it down into a couple pieces. make our own little pine cone picks. Okay, so I'm just going to dip it in my glue. And you have to be patient with these. I'm just going to add glue all the way around the bottom of that. Nice little coat of glue. And then you just have to kind of prop it or hold it till that glue dries and then it'll create a little pick. So I'm just going to set it to the side. I'm going to let that dry. I'm just going to add a bunch of glue. Try not to burn myself. And you just hold it like that or you find a spot. I normally just find a spot and just prop it up and let that glue dry and it'll, it'll harden and create a little pick for you. Okay, see so yeah, I have my and I'm just going to hit it with glue all the way around the base and then let that set it aside and let it do its thing. Okay, so while those are drying, I think I'm going to put this up on the wreath stand so we can see how we're looking. Okay, so I've got it up on our wreath stand. I've got a couple little pieces of pine that I'm going to use as some filler. And I'm just going to go in kind of where it looks like we need a little bit of love. Gonna get our pine cones at it, they should be about dry. Okay, let's 
check our point first. So they're pretty much dry, but you see we got them on little picks now. Takes a minute. I'm going to put one right there. I think I'm going to cut this skin down just a tiny bit. stem down. Let me see about one more pine cone. All right, y'all, here is our beautiful rustic winter swag design. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know it was a little bit hard. This one's big to keep you guys all in view, but I hope you guys were able to learn something. Um, we would love to have you subscribe. If you're new to our channel, hit that little notification bell. You'll be notified every time we have a new tutorial. And uh, again, I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, bye, y'all.